afternoon, everyone. Can everyone hear me all right? Thumbs up, everybody can hear back there? Excellent. All right, so my name is Sharice Kyles. I think some of you remember me. It's been over a year since I've been in front of you. A year and three months, you guys. Can you believe it? So it is so good to see people in person today. It's great. I'm so tired of Zoom calls and Zoom conferences and everything. So great to see everybody here. Thank you for attending today's presentation on the importance of flexibility. Our speakers today are Lisa Patterson. She's our manager of Summerlin Hospital Rehab. And Ritia Bong, who is an occupational therapist for our outpatient therapy. Sorry, physical therapist for outpatient therapy. Summerlin Hospital's teams of specially trained therapists develop individualized treatment plans to help each patient achieve their rehabilitation goals. As patients continue their recovery, treatment plans are updated and modified to help ensure that patients achieve their maximum level of functional independence. The Summerlin Hospital Rehab Units are right here, close to your community, and feature therapy gyms with advanced equipment to help patients regain their strength, mobility, and function. Please join me in welcoming Lisa and Ritia. Thank you so much for having us. Um, I'm Lisa Patterson. I am an occupational therapist and I'm the manager over at Summerlin Hospital Outpatient Therapy. Um, and we're going to talk to you today about flexibility, the importance of it, and Low back. 
back, and what that does is it improves the balance and stability in your hips, so that helps a lot with reducing the chances of falling. And then overall, stretching helps improve blood flow and your energy levels, so then it makes you want to be more independent, get out, be social, and just for overall healthy aging. Um, it's really good too for just normal daily functioning, for example, Good upper body flexibility helps you with getting dressed, reaching for objects overhead. Lower body stretching is really good for, for walking and doing anything where you need to bend or reach for things. Those are some good reasons to stretch. <laughs> so we do have some success stories um, of people that have uh, you know, participated in stretching and strengthening programs for some different conditions.
make sure that the form is good. Um, if you're you know, stretching without good form, you're not gonna get the gains of the flexibility. Um, don't aim for pain. You should never feel pain when you're stretching, just a little bit of tension. Once you get that tension, just hold it there. If, you, if you're feeling pain, back off. Um, keep up with the stretching. Try to do it at least two to three times a week if you can. If you can do it more, even better.
Okay, we're going to switch directions here. One arm behind your back, or on the chair. Slide the head tilt to your left, and gentle over pressure. So a nice stretch, and that trapeze is switching. Next, we're going to do a wrong way stretch. You have both hands clasped out in front of you. And this is the only time where I'll say to have a bad posture. You're actually going to hunch forward. You're going to feel your shoulders separating right here, and you're stretching your middle long leg here. Okay, you're grounding out that back leg. Your stretching is going to help decrease circulation in that area, gives some range of motion, and those shoulders don't stretch. Okay, those are some generalized stretches for the neck. Next, we're going to move into the arm. This is called the uh, posterior capsule stretch or cross arm stretch. Let's take your right arm, you're going to move it across your body. Left arm is going to hook, and you're going to bring it in across your body. Okay, you should feel a mild stretch right here on the side of your shoulder. You're going to hold that for about 15 seconds. This is a really good movement if you have difficulty reaching behind your back or across your body. I'm going to do the other side here. And the key to this stretch is to retract your shoulder blade. So as you do the stretch, you retract and then you pull across. So a nice, gentle stretch. Okay, next is the lat stretch. You're going to have one arm up in the air here. You're going to reach with the other hand if you can. And you're going to lean over to the other side. If it's too difficult, you can put your hand on your hip or on the chair and just stretch. You're going to feel a good stretch.
This is a great stretch if you have any type of sciatica pain. Hip tightness, um, osteoarthritis, osteoarthritis hip pain. Okay. And then that same hip, you can do a gentle stretch where instead of pulling 